Hey guys and welcome back to RoboCAD. This is the first part of uh, 3D CAD modeling of this robotic arm in SOLIDWORKS and in this playlist I will give you some introduction to this 3D CAD model and also I will explain you how to create the first two parts for this robotic arm in this video as well. As you can see this is the gripper and uh, this is the rotational part of the gripper. We have these links, these arms, three arms which uh, helps the robotic manipulator to move and also this rotational part as well so we will be uh, making this base part in this tutorial this is the base of the robotic arm this is the one part right and then we will be making the rotational part in this tutorial as well so this is the rotational part of this robotic arm that we will be uh, making in this tutorial right so let's begin so I have opened a part file part file of the SOLIDWORKS and I have changed the background to plain white we will do some settings so first we have to make sure that we have selected MMGS which means millimeters as units and then I'm gonna select the front plane and click on sketch option then I will select a circle and I will create a circle at the center like this right and then we have to assign some dimensions so I'm gonna select the smart dimensions and I have to specify the diameter for the circle which I have specified as 300 millimeters then I have to go to the features and select extrude boss base and I'm gonna assign the thickness of the base so you can increase the thickness from here so I'm gonna specify 50 millimeters as the thickness right so this is very easy I'm gonna select this face and click on sketch and I will create a circle at the center so I'm gonna select the circle and create a circle at the center now select smart dimensioning tool and here I'm gonna specify the diameter for this circle which is 50 millimeter then I have to go to the features and this time I'm gonna select extruded cut option so I have to specify the depth right so this is the depth here I'm gonna specify 25 millimeters at the depth for the cut as you can see it from here right I'm gonna check the box from here and we have cut the hole so that is the first part which is very easy right and uh, then I'm gonna assign some color to this I will go into the appearance and from here you can specify any color you like so in steel if you want to specify any color from the steel or from the high gloss in plastics you can specify so I'm just specifying a simple yellow color to this part and then I'm gonna save it so go to file click on save as and I have created a folder here for the robotic arm and uh, for the part files I'm gonna create a separate folder so in the part files I'm going to save this very first part that is the base so after writing the name I'm gonna hit the save button and that's it so we have created the first part moving on to the next part go to file click on new select the part file click OK so it's the time to create the second part I'm gonna do my initial settings units are millimeters selecting the front plane and click on sketch so I'm gonna create a circle here at the center of 50 millimeter dia so I'm gonna select smart dimensioning tool and specify the diameter of the circle as 50 millimeter and right after that I will go into the features select extruded boss base here and here I'm gonna specify the depth of extrusion which is 20 which is 35 millimeter right so you can specify 35 and check the box from here all right so after that I'm gonna select uh, the opposite face you can select any face you like right so I'm gonna select this face click on sketch and here I'm gonna create a circle at the center which is going to be around you can specify the diameter for the circle I'm specifying as 300 millimeter okay so after specifying the diameter for the circle I'm gonna select again the extruded boss base so go to features select extruded boss base and here specify the depth of extrusion so this time I'm gonna specify 25 millimeters as the depth of extrusion in the opposite way right so you can increase the thickness if you want to but uh, 25 millimeters for me is good okay so after that I'm gonna select this face and click on sketch 
so we will be creating this time center rectangles so select center rectangles and create a set center rectangle at the center uh, at the origin point and I'm gonna specify the length of this line as 80 millimeter and this line as 100 uh, millimeters then I'm gonna select the center rectangle again and I'm gonna create the center rectangle at this origin like this and after that we need to specify the dimension so I'm gonna select the smart dimensioning tool right and I will select this line this line and I will specify the height first so the height is going to be 80 millimeter and then I will hold control key I will select these two lines and I will make relation equal right so this is an equal relation otherwise you can specify the width of that line as 80 millimeter is gonna get fixed in that regard as well okay after making this sketch I will go to the features I will select the extruded boss space here right and here ha I have this option selected contours right so I will select this and I have to specify the regions for which I need the extrusion so I will select these two right one two and here make sure that you are not selecting any other region so if you have for example selected the wrong region you can delete it from here it's not a problem so you can see uh, I can extrude only these two regions and now I need to specify the height of extrusion which is 100 millimeter and after that I'm gonna check that box right so I will cut um, two holes in this uh, extrusion so I will select this face and click on sketch for reference uh, Hmm. for reference I'm gonna create a center line so I will select the center point select the center point right and create a line press the escape button and after that I'm gonna select a circle and I will create a circle at this center of the center line and I will specify the diameter for this circle as 50 millimeter okay so I will go into the features go select extruded cut this time and since I want to cut the holes in both of these extrusions so how will do that so if your depth of the cut is shorter it's only gonna cut one hole then you have to make the sketch on the other and definitely it's a lot of work so what I will do I will right click here go to the edit feature and either you can select through all in the cut or you can drag this over and here we go we have created two cuts with one feature and now it's time to give some fillet so I will select the fillet right and after that I need to select four corners one and two and the same corners for the other so I will here specify 40 millimeters at the, as the radius for this fillet and I will select these corners as well very carefully you can select these corners and if for example you have selected the wrong corner there is no problem you can select it from here and delete it right so it's not a big deal so after that I will check this box from here right so now it's time to give some appearance to this it's an optional thing you can skip if you want to so I will select any appearance alike so if you want to change the appearance you can definitely change the appearance as well so I'm gonna select this appearance right so uh, the most important thing is to save the part so I'm gonna save this part into the same folder uh, robotic arm part files and I will give it the name um, part underscore two underscore rotational because this is my rotational part so that's all for this video guys where we have the introduction for the robotic arm and then we have created two important parts of this robotic arm as well and in the next video we will be creating the rest of the parts and definitely the assembly as well so see you in the next tutorial